Shrouded in the Guatemalan rainforest of the Yucatan Peninsula rise the ruins of Tikal, a city of the great Mayan civilization. Tikal was lost in the forest and known only to local Mayan villagers, whose residents lived near the abandoned monuments. The city was rediscovered by Western researchers during an expedition to the remote region in 1848. This digital model is comprised of millions of 3D data points that have been textured by multiple high-resolution digital photographs. It shows us the site of Tikal and its temples, acropolises, plazas, and Mayan ball courts, all of which are threatened. The site exists in a nature preserve, but deforestation threatens its immediate surroundings, and as Guatemala's number one tourist destination, the vast number of visitors are causing damage to the structures and the delicate rainforest. In November of 2005, a team from the University of California at Berkeley traveled to the Tikal Reserve on a mission to explore the potential of high-definition documentation to further conservation efforts being conducted by site managers. The team, funded by UNESCO's World Heritage Center and SIARC through the Casira Family Foundation, conducted a survey and presented the process for an on-site conservation workshop. The workshop focused on Temple 4, the tallest pre-Columbian structure in the Americas, which is now covered by dense forest vegetation and excavators have only cleared the pyramid's crown. The Temple 4 project concentrated on the ceremonial temple, which is located at the apex of the pyramid structure, in order to provide an accurate model of the pyramid. The 3D model will provide information during the planning of possible reconstruction efforts. The surveys conducted by SIARC and UC Berkeley are a critical first step in the conservation process to protect against further deterioration of the site. The monuments of Tikal were constructed out of soft limestone that is easily eroded by weather, vegetation and abrasion from tourists. Erosion is unmistakably evident throughout the site. With highly accurate site data, we can begin to do analysis for preservation and conservation. This video demonstrates the typical processes as performed on Tikal's Temple 1. We begin with a photo textured point cloud of Temple 1. A bounding box is created around the temple in order to hide the rest of the 3D model to allow for more close-up work to be conducted. Once the limit box is defined, a plane is created passing through the model at any chosen angle and at any location, typically parallel to the X, Y and Z axes. The plane is then used to cut a section through the model at any chosen thickness. This creates a section cut that can be used to take measurements within the point cloud software or within an architectural CAD program. Here we see the transition from the photo textured cloud to the original cloud, colored by the intensity values of the laser. Now we remove the bounding box and change the color of the temple rooms to make them stand out. We then zoom in to take more precise measurements. Or zoom back out and take site level measurements, such as distances between monuments, which can be done after the bounding box is removed. This 3D model is transformed into a surfaced mesh, which can be analyzed using structural analysis software such as SAP, which is then subjected to seismic loads. This deformation is the result of simulated seismic activity, although it has been exaggerated along the horizontal axis for effect. This kind of analysis allows for the creation of a diagram that shows the stress distribution within the structure. SIAC's work and mission is to digitally preserve World Heritage Sites, such as Tikal for contemporary and future research.